Hey, this is Chris here for Guitar.com at NAMM 2019 at the Gibson booth with JC Curley, Gibson's new CEO. So JC, pleased to meet you and uh, how's the new job going? Well, so far so good. This morning it was amazing. Uh, we got our 125th milestone anniversary and I've been here about 125 days, so I'm like, we're already getting awards, so no, it was great. Things are going great, you can see the energy in the booth here, but you know, of most importance, we put an amazing focus on our guitars. You know, our classics, our contemporary, our chief merchant Cesar, who you probably talked to, and I mean, it's just amazing. And, and what's cool is the pride of Gibson is, is you can feel it, you know, and, and the team, I'm so proud of the team. And then last night, our artists got to show off all the new product, and it's, uh, it's amazing to see it all coming together. Well, I was just saying to uh, Cesar, actually, that this is my 11th NAM show, and it's the happiest I've ever seen Gibson employees <laughs> look. So you must be doing something right. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, we've been synonymous with shaping and creating and kind of owning the share of sound for 100 and then all of a sudden, like, you say, well, man, that's our obligation for the next 125 years. And so our vision is pretty simple. We want to be, like, the most relevant. We want to be the most played. And we want to be the most loved guitar brand. Yeah. And, and I think we are, you know. So the team feels it. We feel it. The artists feel it. Our, our dealers and all the amazing specialty dealers feel it. So now we're in a position to sort of just take Gibbs into the next level. And, uh, and I think it's real. I think as well, is, um, it's fairly obvious that there's now kind of a more streamlined approach um, and maybe before one of the problems was that kind of things lost focus a little bit and um, they were just confusing kind of model lines yeah. and things like that. So is that something that you've kind of immediately brought in? Yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a, a, a well-known phrase in the merger world called edit to amplify. Less is more. And I think that's, uh, I mean, think of the best guitarists. They, they, they live by the less is more, you know? It's sometimes it's the notes you don't play that matter as much as the ones you do, but, but I also think it's uh, one of the sort of philosophical approaches. It's, uh, I was the president of Levi's, and uh, you know, it's amazing. It's an iconic American brand, but you really have to think of the, the next sort of generation dynamics, and to do that, you have to balance heritage with sort of modernity and next generation. And the, and the best way I can think to do that is to have a, an approach that's like the 125-year-old startup. You know, leverage your heritage and your earned iconic status, but make the future really matter. And think like a startup. It's agile, it's focused, it really pays attention to what's going on and then has agility to deliver it. And so the 124-year-old startup at Gibson is alive and well. Awesome. Thanks very much for your time, man. That's cool, really man. cool. Yeah, Appreciate and good luck with the new job. <laughs> we need a little help from our friends. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you.